In this video, we provide the solution to question number 15 for practice exam number three for math 1060. We have to solve the triangle ABC where we know angle A is 30 degrees. We know the side length A equals one centimeter and we know the side length B equals the square root of two centimeters. Exact answers are really great here. We don't need to know the fact that the square root of two is like 1.4 or whatever. Uh, this is actually a blessing to have the square root of two right here. Notice that we have an angle opposite side, AOS. So I'm going to use a lot of science to find out the missing information, but I should caution you, right? We have an angle. Uh, let's see, we have a side, we have a side, we have an angle. That's the SSA. This is the ambiguous case. So that's why the instructions say there could be multiple solutions. There actually might not be any solutions. We have to check for that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look for sine of B, again, using law of science. So sine of B over little b is equal to sine of a over little a. This tells us that sine of b is equal to b over a times sine of a. Or in other words, we get little b is the square root of two. We get little a is one. And then we get sine of 30 degrees. Notice that sine of 30 degrees is the same thing as one half. So you get the square root of two over two. Uh, when does that happen? Well, this is something you have to check. Remember, when it comes to when it comes to sine, sine is always bounded, not sim, sine is always bounded above by one and below by negative one, right? So you have to check to make sure this ratio is between one and negative one. It can't be bigger than one, it can't be less than negative one. If it was, that means there's no solution here. Now, root two over two, we're familiar with this. This happens when B is 45 degrees. Well, that's if B is an acute angle. We have to also check if B was an obtuse angle, right? Um, what if it just references to 45 degrees, but in the second quadrant? So that's 180 take away 45. Uh, which is 135 degrees. We have to consider both possibilities. There's the possibility that B is 45 degrees. There's the possibility that B is 135 degrees. Now, when B is acute, um, if you got past this marker, you're going to be fine for the rest of it. This one will definitely give us a triangle. So if B is 45 degrees, then that means that C is equal to 180 degrees, take away 30 degrees, take away 45 degrees, like so for which then 30 and 45 come together to give you 75 degrees. And if you take 75 degrees away from 180 degrees, you get C is 105 degrees. So we're gonna label these things. So C is 105, B is 45. Now what we have to do is we need to solve for little c, and we can use the law of, we can use the law of signs to do that one. So little c over sine of c is equal to little a over sine of a. I'm going to use A because that's the original AOS I had here. Solving for little c, we get little c is equal to A sine of c over sine of A. Like so. Little a was a 1. We have sine of 105 degrees, like so. And then we have sine of 30 degrees that we have to compute here. Right? Now, sine of 30 degrees, you probably remember that one. Uh, that's going to just be... That's just a times one right there. We don't even need the times one anymore. Uh, sine of 30 degrees, that's just going to be a one half like so. S sine of 105 degrees, you could just plug this into your calculator and you get an approximate solution, which is acceptable. But um, notice that 105 degrees, it actually references 75 degrees because after all, 180 take away 75 is 105. So if you're in the second quadrant, your reference angle is actually your supplement. So this is the same thing as sine of 75 degrees. Why is that significant? Well, sine of 75 degrees, you might recall, is root 6 plus root 2 over 4. 2 goes into 4 two times, so we get the answer of root 6 plus root 2 over 2 as the final answer in this case. The length here, of course, would be in centimeters, like so. If you want an approximate solution, that's fine. You maybe just did that on your calculator. And your approximate solution, of course, would be 1.932 centimeters, so three decimal places. So that's one possibility. The other possibility is what if you actually were 135 degrees? We have to consider both. So if B was equal to 135, that would then suggest then that C is equal to 180. Let me scooch this over a little bit. It's equal to 180 minus 30 degrees, that's still A, minus 135, which is now B. So that would tell us that C is equal to 180, take away 165 degrees, like so. Uh, notice 30 plus 135 is 165. That's not bigger than 180, so this is gonna be positive. 180 take away 165 is 15 degrees. So it turns out there is a second possibility. 
you wouldn't have a you wouldn't have a second possibility if the sum of a and b turned out to be bigger than 180 and thus c is negative so then we see that little c by the law of sines is going to be a times sine of c over sine of a just like we had before little a is still one we now have sine of 15 degrees over sine of a a is still going to be 30 degrees so you're going to get a one half in the bottom again um we could again this so this is equal to 2 sine of 15 degrees you could use your calculator to approximate this but i'm going to put the exact value because we know sine of 15 degrees like sine of 75 this is going to be root 6 minus root 2 over over 4. Uh, but then the 2 and the 4 simplify to give us root 6 minus root 2 over 2 and this will be in centimeters this is the exact value the exact value is preferred but it is not necessary if you just put this in your calculator and you got 0 0.518 centimeters that also would be considered correct and therefore we found two solutions here let me zoom out so you can see all of them we found two solutions to this one two triangles that work one where b was 45 and c was 105 and one where b was 135 and c was 15.